Hello friends, we are here to talk on the book Hat Pradipika of Swami Swatmaram. Let us study it and find what it contains and how it can benefit to live right life. Let us start with the introduction. I will read the excerpts from the book. So it says in the introduction that the Swami Swatmaram's treatise on the Hatha Yoga had been held in great esteem both by the scholars as well as by the aspirants. Though this writer's emphasis is on the yogic practices in which overt behavior plays an important part, it is he who points out that the yogic process forms a continuous path in one's life, then only the benefit can avail us. And he therefore consider the Hatha Yoga as well as the Raja Yoga to be interdependent on each other. It means that Along with the practices of the poses pranayam, there must be a separate time for the meditation also. <coughs> he said in his interdependence context that Hatham vina raj yogo raj yogam vina hatha na siddhante tato yugmam anispatte samabhyaset means both of these things must be combined. This outstanding text fully describes eight well-known pranayam techniques and it had proved to be a source of inspiration for many latter writers who came after Swami Swatmaram. His era was probably 17th or the 16th century. There are many yogic treaties like the Yoga Chintamani, Hatha Ratnavali, Hatha Sanketa Chandrika and Hatha Tattva Kaumudi who had got the inspiration from this Hatha Pradipika of Swami Swatmaram. He had combined the two aspects of the practice, the practices taken up by the Munis as well as the practices taken by the yogis, means the meditation and the tapa of the human body. So, with this introduction, we'll add few more things further and then we will get into the different chapters and the content written there. Thank you so much for watching this.